Hello there. My name is Bonnie, and I'm going to guide you through a long look at a wonderful piece of art today. I'd like you to take a moment to absorb what you see. Really take time to look. Challenge yourself. Think about all of the aspects of the artwork that stand out to you. This piece is called Melon Season and was created in 1967 by the artist Romare Bearden. Can you tell from the picture how it was constructed? You would be correct if you noticed that this is a collage. Collage is a process wherein the artist combines various different materials, such as photographs and pieces of paper or fabric onto a backing. A fun fact for you to also be aware of is that the word collage comes from the French word coller, which means to glue or stick together. Perhaps you've done collage at some point. Bearden kept dozens of magazines and different kinds of papers in his studio and would select from his collection as he built up a collage. Sometimes he hand painted papers as well. As with many of his collages, Bearden used a classic photostat process to create multiples of his work. A photostat is a type of machine for making photocopies on special paper. This was used long before computers and arts software programs ever existed. Bearden is famous for his collages and is considered by many as one of the greatest collages in our nation. Let's explore the elements of this piece. We see two women seated closely together. The seated figure on the left, whose face we see in profile, carries some sort of knife in her right hand. At the foot of her chair is a bucket filled with greens. The woman on the right is holding a piece of watermelon. We see her face front on, and yet her feet are pointing toward the right. Posturing the feet to the side is a style that was used in Egyptian art. Do their faces remind you of anything you've seen before? You may have noticed that their faces are similar to African masks. Bearden has designed them this way to honor his African heritage. In fact, Bearden often created collages in order to provide the visual form to his experience as an African American, as well as to share his love of African American folktales. Bearden once wrote, it is not my aim to paint about the Negro in America in terms of propaganda, but the life of my people as I know it. Note this quote is from a time when the word Negro was an accepted and appropriate term. Today it is not. The 1960s, when he created most of his collages, was a time of social and political upheaval, much like today. African-American artists like Bearden use their art to tell their personal stories from their own point of view. Melon season may reference a memory that Bearden had from his childhood. As the story goes, in the mid-1920s, when Bearden was 10 or 11, he visited his grandmother in a rural town near Baltimore. Bearden remembers a Mrs. Johnson, whose culinary specialty passed down the generations was a watermelon cake fashioned so expertly that it was difficult to tell from the real thing. She placed seeds of chocolate hardened in an icy stream in a red batter, painted the crust with melon stripes and added a transparent sugar icing as the final touch. Each Saturday morning that summer, Bearden delivered the cakes for Mrs. Johnson. Have you ever created a piece of art or written about an experience from your memory? Consider the close positioning of these women. If we consider the historical conditions of the rural South, Bearden is illustrating the intimate nature of Black women's work. Here the two are engaged around the watermelon and the greens, yet I can also imagine them sewing or quilting together, as, as these were also commonplace activities which Black women partook. I'd like you to also contemplate the pattern and colors in the dress of the woman to the right. Do they seem familiar? They remind me of African fabric and textile designs. Why do you think Bearden chose these fabrics? I believe Bearden chose them as another means of honoring his heritage. The pattern in the clothing of the women is an example of Bearden's hand-painted papers. I hope you've enjoyed taking a long look with me today and that you will pause and do so when looking at art on your own.
Perhaps you feel inspired to use collage as a means of telling your own story. If so, feel free to use what you've learned here as a starting point for your own creative process.